question. Have you ever looked at your money from the lenses of fear? Have you had a negative thought about your ability to accomplish your goals? Have you feared success just as much as you feared fear? Have you been afraid to earn more money, save money, pay off debt? If so, stay tuned. Hey you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time tuning in to one of my videos, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I graciously appreciate you all. My name is Latasha Brown. I am a wife, a mom, a career entrepreneur. And my hopes is that when you land on this channel that you leave informed, inspired, and ignited and leave filled up with hope that you have landed in a safe space because this here channel is a no judgment zone. So today I wanna to talk about a subject that many of us has experienced and don't really know what's really holding us back from experiencing success on your financial journey. But today I wanna to give you some tips on how to release those money blocks. So before we dive in, do me a great favor and like this video. I would appreciate the support. Subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you a part of the Abundant Tribe. Over here, we are a community of support and abundance. So I would love to have you. And drop a comment, engage with me. Let me know that you're out there and that I'm not alone. And bang on that bell so that you're notified when I drop another video. All right, y'all, let's dive in. So growing up as a child, I never had the conversations regarding money. You know, my mom, she was a single mom. And what I learned from her is that, you know, get up, go to work. And she instilled those work ethics in me. But I also saw her struggle. You know, she worked hard, but oftentimes struggled just to make ends meet. And she was just trying to survive. So we never sat down and talked about money. We never talked about, um, you know, how to budget, how to manage your money, how to save money, any of that. We didn't even talk about debt. You know, only thing that I heard is that, you know, seeing from her is just the struggle, but she worked hard. And so and when I grew up and had children, I attached to that struggle. You know, I worked hard, but oftentimes I struggled just to manage my money and just to make ends meet. And so I was in that same survival mode, didn't realize that money blocks was really holding me back from experiencing success in my, in my financial life. And even when it came to earning more money or, you know, trying to get promoted or going for those bigger promotions that allowed me to earn more money, I even blocked myself from that and I really didn't even know why. So today I'm gonna to give you four tips to release money blocks because money blocks is typically a mindset, a thought or a feeling around money that blocks you from experiencing financial success. So I'm gonna dive right into these tips. Tip one is to really understand your experiences and your beliefs and your thoughts around money. And a lot of times we have to travel back to understand where did it start? Did it start at, at your childhood? Did you have the opportunity to learn manage, money management skills from your parents in your household? You know, what was the experiences that you had regarding money in your household as a child that shaped your beliefs? So once we're, we understand our thoughts where it lied, where it started, you know, why we believe what we believe or what did we experience when it comes to money, that will allow you to then move to tip two. And tip two is just really allowing you to rewire and reprogram your mindset around your money, you know, reframing your thoughts, reframing your language when it comes to your money. And what that helps us do is, yeah, in tip one, we were able to understand what we experienced in our life when it came to money, any hardships, the experiences, the beliefs, because our experiences shapes our belief. And once we understand that, then we can really, really dive into tip two and understand and rewire and reprogram our mindset by using a powerful tool, which is affirmations. Because I know people are like, you know, does affirmations really work? 
Absolutely, because what you will be able to do by using this tool, you're able to reframe your language, reframe your thoughts, reframe your mindset on how you are experiencing and how you think about money and feel about money now, because you know why and where the beliefs started. Now you can create new beliefs, new mindset, new language around money now. And by just saying affirmations daily, what that does is it embeds into your mindset and it changes and shifts your mindset. And then that starts to manifest in your life by simply saying things as, I see my money from the lens of freedom. I am a success. I'm able to generate wealth. I'm able to earn more. I am enough, so I earn enough and I'm capable of earning more. You know, I, my finances is enough for me. I have enough to meet my financial obligations. You know, I am successful. I am abundant. You know, saying those things allow you to move from that po poverty mindset and attach and align yourself to an abundant mindset. It literally will shift the trajectory of your life because you're telling yourself every time something comes up, a thought, you know, a negative thought, you know, anything that embeds to your mindset that is not in alignment on the path that you're currently going, you will be able to affirm what's true to you. So powerful. Tip three is to understand your knowledge gap. Now, in tip one, you already trace your experiences in your old beliefs, your old limited beliefs. Two, you're able to rewire, reprogram, and reframe things by using affirmations. Now, you're at a position to really understand in tip three, what are your knowledge gaps? Because before, when we did not know what was really blocking us and why, we didn't understand what was the gaps. So now in tip two, you can really understand what do you need to know? What are your knowledge gaps? You know, when it comes to your financial situation, what do you need to know? What do you need to learn more of? If you're trying to manage your money, you're trying to budget, you know, setting down and really understanding how to budget, what method of budgeting really works based on your financial situation, how to save money, what can you realistically save and how to plug that into your budget, learning that, you know, if you have a knowledge gap, if you have debt and you have a knowledge gap in paying off debt, learning what debt method to apply and repaying back those that debt, even when it comes to earning more money, you know, who do you need? What mentor you need? You know, what career um, do you need to go in based on your skills in order to earn more money? So number tip two, tip two will allow you to affirm those things that you're trying to see. Tip three will allow you to understand your knowledge gaps and who do you need to know? Who can you choose to be on your team of support, of accountability, a mentor, so that you can really understand your knowledge gaps and educate yourself. Number four, tip four. Tip four is really just to be open to have those money conversations. You know, a lot of times we often, we are, are afraid to really talk about you know, our money situations, our money, how much we earn, you know, our experiences, our financial hardships and mistakes, you know, our financial um, success and accomplishments. You know, we have a hard time to really open up the conversation around money. And once you apply these tips and these steps to your life, you can really be open and have the confidence to really talk about your financial path and what you need, what you've learned and what applies to your financial situation. And then in your circle of friends, you know, even in, when you begin to um, attend support groups, if you're looking for support on your journey, you can have the confidence with opening up 
to the conversations around money because that literally will keep you growing, will keep you going, will keep you in the path of knowing what you need to know when it comes to your money. You know, money is a tool and when used wisely, it can literally grow and you can experience great success on your financial path and journey. So tip one is to really understand your thoughts, your experiences, and your beliefs around your money. Tip two is to rewire, reprogram, and reframe your mindset, your language, and your thoughts around your money. Tip three is to understand your knowledge gaps, you know, understanding what you need to know and, um, you know, really allowing yourself to learn about finances, finance, financial education and literacy so you can apply it to your financial situation and your journey to experience success. And then tip four is just having those money conversations, you know, finding a, a support team, you know, a mentor so that you can continue to be open and honest and truthful and communicate about your finances and continue to grow. Those are some tips that really help me to release the money blocks. And let me tell you, it is not easy. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. That's why I always say you need a support team that's going to keep you accountable, that's going to allow you to lean on them and be open to conversations, a mentor, a financial mentor to support you throughout your journey so that you can continue to develop and grow and develop healthier habits to keep you going. These tips work, but it starts with you. It starts with us applying them daily so that we can experience success in our lives. So I'm excited to hear from you. Drop a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know, you know, have you experienced money blocks and how you release them? You know, drop it in the comments so that, you know, someone else can grab hold to that wisdom and that, that it the resources and advice. I'm super excited to hear from you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you all have an abundant rest of your week. I talk to y'all later. All right. Bye-bye.